Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking the boat out and the fly rod out to do a how-to video on how to catch crappie on the fly rod. I did a fly fishing for crappie video last year and using the Tenkara rod and I did really well. So uh, a lot of people I had questions like how do I catch crappie? So I find crappie this time of year that, that pre-spawn, post-spawn and kind of spawn, they're all on submerged structure. So any sort of trees that are under the water in like uh, maybe 10 feet or less, shallower kind of the better. So they'll make reds, their beds right next to that. So you want to cast basically right into structure, right into trees, and that's the best way to do it. And I'm using a four-way fly rod with about a 10 pound leader because there's lots of pickerel in here and they tend to bite you off if you use anything less than that. And I'm using a fly that I've, you know, I tie myself. So this has got a chartreuse head, a uh, white body, and then a white little paddle tail. And you basically just cast it in there, let it sink. The bigger fish are st stuck right to the structure and they're a little bit harder to get. You gotta get down past the smaller ones, but they're in there. So this is the how-to video. Hope you guys find it helpful. Um, crappie are one of my favorite ones to target on the fly because you can really get into them and have a really fun day. So thanks for watching. And all we're doing is we're looking for spots that have lots of fish or some sort of tree structure that's submerged. I know there is some in front of us, but we're gonna try to find it anyways. And then this is just to see if there's anything directly below the bow since we're so deep. But we got a submerged tree there that we can check. And all we're going to do is we're going to get downwind of it, leave the motor running, and we're just going to hit spot lock. And that's going to lock us right here so I can cast on it. All right, I know there's some structure out here that should hold some fish, these submerged trees. Just put us on spot lock and we'll cast to them. That was either a bite or the tree. I can't tell because it is so freaking windy. Crappy for sure. Target species acquired. So this one's still pretty lightly colored, which they get pretty dark when they spawn. So this could be post spawn, but this is a small one, obviously. Target species acquired, back in. And they get like sucked right to it, where like the best way to do this is a fly rod. Um, just because it doesn't get stuck, you need a right upturn hook. You can control your depth and your speed pretty good compared to a, a float or a bobber and a, on a jig. If you stand on the back of the boat here. Oh, I just had another one. Oh, there's one. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Crappy on the fly rod. Just super fun. They're so aggressive. This water is still 69 degrees. Toasty. Oh, I had one. Oh, I had another one. They're just hammering it. And I wish I could show there's one piece of log there and there's a couple other ones that kind of like stick up behind it. Oh, I got something chasing it. And I've used woolly buggers and stuff like that. This pattern just is really great for casting. Oh, that's a big one right there. Obviously spot lock is key, otherwise it'd be blowing up this log here. Oh, there's one. I think they're getting bigger. Which is really nice. Not super big. 10 inches or so. And super fun in the four way until I catch a bass or something like that that's gonna take me for a ride. A couple more casts on this log and then I'll, I'll move over to another one. So I got another one right in front of me here. And I got about nine feet deep. So they, 
they're probably post spawn if they're in that deeper water. If I was to guess, I don't like target crappy all the time, but I, I do it every once in a while. So here's a nice big log, kind of comes up, and there's a couple of stems that come off of it, branches. So we're gonna stay far enough back so I can cast into it. And I, like I said, I've seen them complete, like glued to the log where you can't see them until they're on your hook. They're not gonna be on every log. They're gonna pick a few to spawn on that are good for them. See, this might not have enough uh, coverage being just one big log. And if you don't have spot lock, obviously you can just use an anchor, but it takes just a little more time. If I had a uh, power poles, I'd be using power poles for sure. So I'm only in four feet of water. There we go, got him. Tiny one, but heat and choked it for a little guy. Choked it. There he goes. And there are some big ones in this lake for sure. Got him. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Just inhaling. Inhale the crappie. I said they get absolutely glued to these structures. Makes them so fun to catch. And you can do it with your trout rod. Just put a heavier leader on. So pickerel and stuff don't bite you off constantly. And crappy and like the stained water aren't usually uh, line shy anyway. So. And you can use like lightly uh, weighted clouser minnows. White chartreuse usually works for most of this stuff. Let's get the bottom section of that log and then I'll bump the boat down there a little bit. You want to keep a tight line because they light bite. And usually the bigger ones will be tucked up super close. Ooh, like that one. Nice crappie. Oh yeah, there's a crappie on the log. Kinda figured. Buried in there. Absolutely buried in there. With just inhaling it like a bass. There's another one. They're just, that's a bigger one, stacked in there. Yeah. Absolutely stacked in there. That was a bigger crappie just chilling. And stumps and rocks and stuff. That was probably the biggest crappy. <sighs> and my boat's stuck now. Right. Well, that was probably the biggest crappy of the day. As my boat gets stranded on top of a rock or something, I'm not sure what I'm on, will you? But I should be floating off any moment now. Or I'm hoping. Holy crap. Just cut another frickin' Mondo crappy. Yeah. 
Everything is messed up right now. Not good. Not good. Lines all tangled. Crappy on the fly rod. Crappy on the fly rod. Can't get any farther than that. Oh my goodness. There be a spawning crappie. Super dark. That's the coloration we were looking for for spawning ones. Super dark crappie. There's a crappie. Came screaming out after it. One of the bigger ones of today. Not bad. Oh, that was sick. Came and clobbered it. And it's a big one too. Look at that. It's not the only one in there. And that I had to be right, I mean right on that tree. There we go, another big one. One that I don't want to high stick. Ooh, probably the, that's probably the biggest one of the day, right there. Oh, he got me. Son of a Big eyes. Nice fish. Look at that big eyes. Oof. Another big one, right there. Yeah, inhaled it. Another one. Oh. These trees are just loaded with hogs. That was kind of an awkward angle, but I'm kind of like just flopping it in there. I'm waiting for the fly to disappear. I'm bleeding all over the place. <laughs> 